Together with a shirtless Tom Hanks and a bevy of other famous faces, Michelle Obama took part in a star-studded day at sea off the coast of Italy. The former First Lady, 59, was photographed taking a boat ride with a glittering group of A-list celebrities, including Tom and his wife Rita Wilson, acclaimed director Steven Spielberg, and his partner Kate Capshaw. She has been on a European vacation without her husband Barack for the past few weeks. Near Portofino, the group was observed disembarking Stephen's $250 million superyacht together and boarding a smaller boat that would take them snorkeling for the day. The celebs conversed while on the boat as they soaked up the Italian sun and marveled at the breathtaking scenery. At one point, Rita was spotted squeezing Michelle's shoulder as the two laughed over something. For the outing, Michelle flaunted her trim form in a white, one-piece bathing suit. She accessorized the look with huge sunglasses and kept her braided hair in a ponytail at all times. Rita, 66, chose to cover up her dark brown swimsuit with a cover-up with a navy blue and white design. She completed her look with some sunglasses and a Louis Vuitton handbag. Tom, the actor, was dressed for the trip in a white T-shirt, black shorts, and a dark grey baseball cap. Later, he removed his shirt and enjoyed the remainder of the voyage without it. Stephen was dressed in a white straw hat, white shorts, and blue polo shirt, while his wife of 32 years was wearing a black bathing suit. During the boat voyage, many of the celebrities pulled out their phones to take pictures of one another and the stunning scenery. Stephen could be seen taking a picture of Tom at one point when he raised his arms. Many of them put on a grey swim stop when it was time to jump into the brilliant blue seas for some swimming and snorkeling, probably to protect them from jellyfish or stinging algae. Michelle was seen climbing down from the boat on a ladder while wearing a snorkel and mask over her head. They then made their way back to the yacht while wrapping up in some beige towels and drinking sodas. Stephen brought along his cute dog, who was spotted enjoying the sun from the boat as the gang played in the water. After that, they made their way back to Stephen's massive 357-foot ship, which features two swimming pools, a theatre, and a landing pad for a helicopter. Michelle has undoubtedly had an opulent few weeks, travelling to a variety of breathtaking locations throughout Europe. She was spotted in the Spanish cities of Madrid earlier this month and Mallorca a few days prior. Prior to that, Michelle travelled to New York City with her husband, Barack Obama, to watch the US Open. Additionally, in July, the pair travelled to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts with their daughters. While there, Barack was seen playing golf and Michelle was seen hitting the tennis courts. Photographers had previously captured them enjoying lunch with Tom, Rita, Malia and Sasha on the gorgeous Greek island of Sifnos. They travelled to California in May to support their youngest child, Sasha Obama, when she received her degree from the University of Southern California. While on vacation in Barcelona, Spain, that same month, Michelle and Barack hiked with Stephen to the Montserrat Abbey and attended a Bruce Springsteen concert. Longtime friends Tom and Rita have had with the Obamas, and in 2016, Barack even gave the actor the Presidential Medal of Freedom. He claimed that the Forrest Gump actor had touched him in a very powerful, personal way at the moment in his address. Only a few weeks have passed since a convicted felon made outrageous charges about Michelle's spouse involving gay sex. Larry Sinclair, a con artist, said earlier this month that Barack, 62, had engaged in two acts of oral sex with him in Chicago in 1999 and that he had seen him purchase and consume cocaine while appearing on the program of former Fox anchor Tucker Carlson. Larry originally made the assertions in 2008 as Barack was preparing to run for president. Larry has a significant criminal past, including convictions on forgery, fraud, and theft charges.
He has also served time in jail in Arizona, Florida, and Colorado. His charges were immediately denounced as an effort at a political smear. He's never provided any evidence to support his accusations against the previous president. But this month, the New York Post published a letter that Barack had sent to his lover, Alex McNear, when he was 21 years old, giving Larry's claims new life. According to the publication, he stated that he loves making love to men every day, but in the imagination. The 59-year-old mother of two first revealed how she maintains her trim figure in November. She said that after going through menopause, her perspective on exercise altered. Due to her rigorous workout routine, Michelle once earned the moniker Drill Master among her friends. During her husband's administration, she gained notoriety for frequently displaying her toned arms. She added that she no longer cares as much about seeming physically fit and beating everyone around her and is simply committed to keep moving and to remain physically active. She attributed the change in her workout regimen to both menopause and aging. I've noticed that I can't exert myself as much as I once could. I'm not able to make that work. When I pull anything or tear a muscle, I am incapacitated. The amount of time for healing varies. I don't have to run if I can move around and walk. I don't need to outperform everyone. I've had to adjust how I view myself in the context of my health. You have to strike a balance between remaining physically active and treating your body gently enough to continue playing. I still engage in physical activity, and right now, rather than aiming for Michelle Obama arms, I just want to keep going.